Mesa TV presents in three, two, one. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. Well, this week on Dateline Schools, we're visiting the Marysville Police Department and getting some tips on how we can keep this spring and graduation and prom season a real happy and a safe time for our kids. And tell us all about it with all the tips from special guest is from the Marysville Police Department, Sergeant Tom Cowie. And, and Tom, what should parents do if they kind of get wind that there's a party or, or some inklings that there may be some kind of an event and they're not sure if there's going to be alcohol served or not? Well, I think the first thing they ought to do is discuss that with their child or their you know, junior or senior that's going to that party. To pick their brain and let them know what their concerns are. If there is going to be alcohol there, it, it's okay in for people that are over 21 or 21 and over to consume alcohol if there's going to be alcohol there set the parameters down but if they do have some kind of uh, inclination that alcohol is going to be served to minors then you can go the next step and contact either school officials or local law enforcement to assist the parents with that do you guys ever get uh, parents calling up and say I've heard about this and you, so that kind of spring you guys into action a little more visibility around that area maybe we do get that from time to time. And what our course of action is at that time is to contact the host and just explain there are some concerns out in the community and also with us. And usually, because of that, it's taken care of. Also, I know another concern, and, and this is kind of new for, for you guys to be enforcing, and that with these kids, and, of course, they're all pretty young drivers and that kind of stuff. You get out in spring, school's out and that kind of stuff. May not always remember the rules, but they've got some new rules to remember too this year too, don't they? Well, they do, and that goes along with um, the use of cell phones or actually what we're calling as distracted driving or texting while driving. And that's um, it's up there. The statistics are up there with teenage crashes as well as drunk driving that they need to be cognizant of, of that and not participate in that while they're operating a vehicle. And I know, too, you've done a lot of seatbelt enforcement, especially around the high school. I've seen you guys out here a few times. Really surprised how many kids don't even snap that, that, that buckle when they leave the school. Isn't it? Well, you know, but I, it, the other way it goes, there's a lot of them that do. And the majority of them, and we're out there for not so much as enforcement action, but be, to be proactive. And we have at times seen kids when they're coming out, they'll give us the up sign and throw their seatbelt on. And that's good because that's a reminder for them. More tomorrow for Dateline Schools. I'm Terry Hunter.